This week on Coyote Country, join us as we head out journey off-season onto the tranquil waters and share with you a mixed bag montage of trout fishing action. With our fishing rods in tow, we put our lures to the test as we set our sights on angling for the chunky, speckle-laden and color-filled rainbows. But we won't stop there, as we'll also be trolling for a couple less familiar but very unique and colorful looking trout species such as splake and tiger trout. But enough said, let's get to that mixed trout fishing action. We hope you enjoy. Hi there and welcome to Coyote Country. As you can see from our setting, it's the off season. We've got the Zodiac in the water. It's six o'clock in the morning. And today I'm gonna to be trying something I've never done before and that is gonna be trying to fish for rainbow trout and splake trout solo. So that's gonna be a challenge in itself. For those that may not be familiar, splake trout are a cross between our lake trout and a brook trout. So we're gonna see what kind of action we have in store for you today. It's early June and so the trout action should be picking up. It's been a long winter and the insect activity is picking up. As you can see, there's a bit of mosquitoes flying around here. So let's push off and see what we can get. What a gorgeous morning. The lake's like a mirror and there's no other fishermen out here, so even better. They're calling for 20 kilometer hour winds today, so we'll see how that'll pan out. It usually causes audio problems, but I thought I'd show you what I'm using today. I've got a gang troll. This one here is called the Ford Fender. And basically the two spoons spin as you troll to attract the trout, and then you can put on a a chunk of monofilament, anywhere from two to four feet in length. And then the hook of your desire on the end. And here I'm using a little flat fish, kind of frog pattern. We're gonna try that and see how that works, so. Now when I'm trolling for trout, I like to usually leave out about 150 feet enough to get it further back away from the boat in case you spook any trout as you're trolling over them. And trout like it at a slow speed, especially the rainbows. Splake tend to like it a little bit faster, but we're targeting rainbows today, so let's see what uh, we have in store. We got a fish on. <laughs> This is going to be challenging. Running three cameras, and then I'm going to net a trout. Wish me luck. Whoa, what a beaut. Oh, it's a hog. It's a hog. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna weigh the fish in the net here just so we don't have to handle them as much. I've weighed the net before, it's two pounds, two ounces, so let's just see what we got here. Appears to be six pounds, six ounces, so a four pound, four ouncer, so four and a quarter. Four and a quarter pound rainbow, that'll do. Here, now I'll show you guys the rainbow here. <laughs> a 
that's why that's a good way to kill the off season i'd say look at that chunkiness of these fish they're so fat you can obviously tell they're feeding well so let's get them back in the water here That was a beautiful trout. Something that I couldn't show you during all that commotion was the fish finder or the depth finder. And we were coming out of 22 feet of water and into heading into 16 feet. There was a large flat out here, kind of a weed flat. And I think that's where the trout have been feeding. So we're gonna try another pass right over here. Hopefully the wind will stay at bay and we'll be able to put some more trout in the Zodiac. Fish on! Uh, it doesn't feel as big of a fish this time, but... Well, it looks like a rainbow. Another beautiful rainbow, nice chunky, nice chunky rainbow. Look at the colors. Nice and fat. Get them back in the water. Right on. Let's get another one. Fish on. Oh yeah. Gotta like it when that zing factor kicks in. Oh, it's coming in pretty good now. Shut that off. Oh. Oh yeah. Might have a good one on here. Some good head shakes. Yeah, I can see it. it. Looks like a rainbow. Another chunky rainbow. I don't think they make them small here. What a morning so far. You got the loons calling. I got a trout in the net and a chunky one at that. Show you what we got here. Like I said, I don't think they make them small here. Another beautiful rainbow. Let it go back into the water. Live another day. That's how we do it. Let's get another one. It's always good to pay attention where you catch the fish, on obviously on the lake, but also the structure. And in that case here where we just caught this last one, we were coming out of 16, 18 feet of water into 25 and just set that transition from going from shallow to deep. Whammo. So. Wind's coming up, but so far so good. Let's, let's see if we can get another one in the boat. We got a fish on. It's not jumping. It's not acting like the other trout, so I'm thinking we might have our first flake of the day. Let's see what we got. It's not a big one. Just can tell by the head shakes. Yeah, it's staying down deep. Yeah, I can see the fins at the splake. Right on. First flake of the day. 
and we lost them. Oh. That's one of the challenges with uh, filming, solo filming. I reached over to move the camera and just uh, the fish did a double back and got slack in the line and adios amigos. Oh well, now we know where they are. I'd say we got a fish on. Stand down, probably a splice. It's my guess. Shut off this zinger. Nice chunky fish, whatever it is. I'd say it's a rainbow. It's kind of funny it, uh, it's kind of funny it never jumped for us. Okay, now for the fun part. Get the scale on this one. This one's definitely a, a weight-worthy rainbow. Six two, so four pounder right on the nose. How's that? I didn't get to show it to you. It jumped right out of my hands. There you go. Beautiful rainbow. Look at those speckles. Gotta go for another day. See you, buddy. Let's get another one. Fish on! been a while and this one's heavy going straight to shore 235 feet out <laughs> I better haul them in it's been slow here for the last hour or so but changing up the hooks and this one works so Beautiful rainbow. Another chunky, chunky, chunky rainbow. out of the way. That's what you call <laughs> a quick release. Sorry I couldn't show it to you. Now at this time I'd like to introduce to you my dad Robert. Saying that my dad loves fishing would be a total understatement. Fishing with my dad will always hold a special place for me and that's probably because he took the time many years ago when I was a youngster and taught me so much about fishing. It's just one of those classic father-son bonds 
from the great outdoors that never gets old. Looks like we got something on here, buddy. First on of the day for Dad. We uh, still don't know what it is. Stand they got, down. Just staying down? Maybe a spike? Maybe. Oh, I see the Ford. Famous Ford. So you know I'm running the camera, oh, eh? That, man, that's a good one. <laughs> you know I'm running the camera, so you know what that means, right? You're netting that, eh? Oh, oh well, I, I'm netting. <laughs> I'm netting. You mean I'm netting my own? Oh, look at that. It's a spike. It's a nice spike. Come top off, but... What's the matter? I might be a little loose on the tension here. <laughs> I prefer it a little looser. <laughs> Sometimes it's not meant to be. They're doing a little bit of here. Are you just doing this for TV or what? We finally got it in. Right on. Hey, looks like a goodie. Yeah. Might be a keeper even. Uh, <laughs> oh, a nice spike. That's a nice one, eh? Hey. Look at that colors on that. Uh, wow. I know somebody's going to be wanting to change hook here, but it's only. Ooh. Oh yeah. I thought you said it was just so like watch it. What kind how come you're not talking anymore? Well if it's two feet long, does that mean something? <laughs> oh no, it, 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 it means you need better glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hooked on spikes today. That looks like a no. Bad one. They don't like the net, eh? Why, why, why is it they don't like the net? Oh, why don't you jump right in the net? You missed it. Oh, now you're fucking out. Ah, I got you. Hey, not a, not, not a nice one. Yeah. That's a chunky one. Right on. Hey, I'm hooked on spikes. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Almost on the boat. Can't quite see it yet. Ooh. What's up? Oh, nice rainbow. <laughs> oh boy, that's a nice rainbow. Look at him, watch when he comes by here. Sure hope he's hooked good. Oh my God. I can't reach him. Well, this is scary. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's not pooped yet. No. He's right here. Yeah. He's like right under. Okay. Bang. Nice one. <laughs>
We're gonna weigh dad's rainbow here, but it's gotta be pushing five, six pounds for sure. Seven pounds, you see that? Seven pounds, well, that's with the weight of the net, so. <laughs> nice rainbow. Look at me. It's <laughs> uh. a beauty. It's gonna release them. Yeah, we're gonna put him back. Probably the first time I ever do this. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Should I cry now or? <laughs> Fish on. It's been a long time in between. Shakes. I did have a close once. <laughs> Quite as big as this one. Sure, more lively though. Time to release the nice rainbow here. Probably just under five pounds. Got it? Yeah. Job. Hey. We know who's getting the money today. Yeah, another one for the book. Welcome to day three here on Coyote Country. It's 6 30 in the morning and we're at a new lake running solo here, so hopefully we'll be able to show you what we're after. But today our target is tiger trout. This is a relatively new lake to us, and for those that don't know, tiger trout is a cross between a brook trout and a brown trout. They got re really unique coloring on them and hopefully if we can uh, land a couple in a boat you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So wish us luck. Fish on. Feel a little head shake so I don't think it's a big one but I think I got myself a wall hanger here. You gotta take a look at this big tiger. I gotta get it on hook, man. Let's take a look at what we got here. A 
I'll zap for a tiger trout. Look at the colors on them. I'm trying to be quiet here because we got some other guys fishing at the other end of the lake. I don't want them to know this is a trophy. <laughs> I guess it's true what they say. Early bird gets the worm. Now for the moment of truth, want to know what this guy weighs. It's not a certified scale, but... Five, seven. You see that? That's a heck of a fish. I don't know if I'm ever going to top that, but what a beauty. That wraps up our episode on Coyote Country for the trout fishing action. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.